Got a cup of softened butter into my mixer. on low for about two minutes okay I let that go on low for about two minutes and for the rest of this recipe the mixture is very loud and I add everything while it's on so I'm just going to tell you what we're going to add to it we're going to do one flax egg which is one tablespoon of milk flax for three tablespoons of water And we're gonna do a teaspoon of baking powder, not baking soda. A little bit of salt, two and a half cups of all purpose flour. And then I'll stop the mixer and we can talk about the next steps after.
I actually ran out of flour, so I might need to go out and get some to finish this recipe. I'm only missing half a cup, but in baking, you need to be really precise. So, okay, I'm back. If I forgot anything, I'm sure I'll find out the hard way. So I'm gonna measure out the remaining half a cup of flour. I think that should be good. Okay. I'm just gonna get that folded in as best as I can. So it doesn't explode everywhere when I turn the mixture back on. And a little bit of salt. why my mixer does this, please let me know. like there's a hole in the middle. I think we're just gonna have to get in there with our hands to mix up the rest of this. That's much easier. Okay, so by this point you're probably wondering how are we gonna make the character in the dough? We're gonna be doing pumpkins, and as soon as I get this all mixed together, we're gonna to get three airtight containers, and we're gonna mix a quarter cup of the dough with green food dye, and three quarters cup of the dough with orange food dye, and then leave the rest uncolored. I wanted to be cute and use matching containers, but I don't know if it's all gonna fit. So we will see. I've never used food coloring before, but we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. So we'll do the green first. a pretty good estimate. I feel like that's good enough. I wonder if it'll stain my hands because I kind of just want to like mix it with my hands. We're going to find out. Wow, that's really green. Do you see that? Let me get, let me get my workstation. I don't know. I've never used this before. I learned to get, oh my gosh, that's so cool.
I feel as though this is going to stay in my hands. pretty green. Okay, let's do a little bit more. It's, you know, a ghost or a heart, depending on how you look at it. I feel like that's probably mixed enough. I'm just gonna add that in. Okay, we're gonna say that's good. So there's your quarter cup of green. And then we're gonna take three quarters of a cup and do orange. girl. My cat's joining us for this bit. Okay. I think this is going really well. That does not look orange. That looks red. very important to be as messy as possible with this recipe or it's just not going to turn out authentic. Well, I stand corrected. It is pretty orange. I do say so myself. And don't mix up the colors. Try to keep it as contained as you can. It would probably be best if you watered or floured your hands before doing this, but I did not think that far ahead. food coloring. <laughs> this would be a good one to get your kids involved in. It's like edible Play-Doh. Okay, I'm gonna say that's good enough. So put him in his separate bowl. Mix any outliers in. It does not stain your hands. And then take the remainder of the dough and dump it in its container. Let's hope it fits. Make it fit. It's going to be a tight squeeze, but that is okay. 
pop the lid on these and refrigerate it for at least an hour to let it set into a log shape I put gloves on because I just did my nails and I really don't want cookie dough under my nails. And this is why I think I microwaved it for too long because it's not really sticking together. But I think we're, we're getting into a rhythm here. That, yep, that's looking pretty good. That is looking pretty good, pretty pumpkin shaped. I feel like this needs to be thicker. So let's just okay that looks like a good pumpkin shape to me it'll stick together okay what do you guys think that looks pretty good pretty pumpkin like not really. Okay. Well, you know, it's not gonna be perfect. Now, just for some um, context, this is what it looks like when you put it in the fridge overnight. It's a hockey puck. So I'm gonna put this one in the microwave for not as much as the orange one. be too much too but we're gonna yeah that's better so 10 seconds is probably gonna be all you need I really feel like this is too much what is, what's going on here is that supposed to happen I've never rolled out cookie dough like this before okay let's just do it in small batches it might be because the temperature of the whole cookie dough isn't the same like the outer part is warmer than the middle part so i'm just going to kind of reconstitute it together and get it all the same temperature i don't know if that's really going to help or not we're learning together so Roll that out. This is going to be the stem. Well, that's okay. That's that's okay. Just try again. I want this to be a lot thinner than the orange section um, because obviously the stem is much smaller than the actual pumpkin. So we might end up with some extra dough. Oh no, we'll have to just eat that. But if it gets too much thinner, okay, let's just do it in very small sections. Okay, I think that's a good stem circumference. So I'm gonna move the pumpkin log back over and put the stem right on top. I don't know guys, I don't know if this is gonna be a good one or not. I'm sure it'll taste good, it just might not look good. And there's another little section of stem. You know, 
it is what it is. Okay, see, this is a good piece. That's a good stem. But, of course, we don't need all that. So, let's just... There. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, put the extra dough to the side. And now we're going to heat up the big container of our white colored dough. difference. This is our biggest portion of dough. Oh, it needs a couple more seconds, I think. I don't, yeah, I think it does. So, if you got, if this turns out and you decide to make this, do not get sidetracked like I did. Just take it out of the fridge an hour after it sets. I'm sure you'll have much better luck than me. Let's, let's just try this and see how it goes. Goodness gracious. I'm really losing credibility here. Okay. So I think what we're gonna do is we're going to cover the log and then use the extras and make some fun shapes with the extras. You're supposed to wrap it in this. This is my first time making it. So let's, let's show Haley some grace. Okay, that's, that's a good start. A rolling pin would be great to use. Um, I don't have one. If you do, please make your life easier than I'm making mine. I fear the problem with this method is I'm not going to be able to remove the white cookie dough from the cutting board. Goodness, I'm really get into it. Okay. You guys think the width of this is gonna wrap around that whole log of pumpkin? We're gonna find out. This is such an arm workout. doing much better than how we started. Let me know if I redeem myself at the end of this video. It smells good. Good 
I'm gonna try to get this as smooth as I can. I think that's gonna work. Oh, I don't know. Let's put some extra on the edges. If nothing else, we had a great time together. That's all that matters. Okay, a little bit more and then we'll try it. Okay. Moment of truth. Let's, let's, I mean... Let's just try it. I'll put it as in the middle as possible. That looks pretty middle, right? Oh, I'm kind of scared. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Spoke too soon. Okay. It's it's crumblier than I want it to be. That's fine. Just, this side will save it. Wow, look at what we did together. These are some big cookies. Okay. Now, You are more gifted in culinary arts than me. Feel free to yell at me, but I think we should roll this just like we rolled the pumpkin and the stem and just get it really smooth. Or, you know, we can just pat it. That, that feels safe to me. Just pat it. I bet you can shape to make them round where it's been on the cup. Here, look. Just kind of, if, if you're nitpicky like me, you can kind of shape them a little bit. Look at that. That's a pumpkin. that I wonder if we could now that it's kind of together kind of roll the crease out of it my dishwasher is going in the background if you guys can hear it oh okay don't don't do that okay yep don't do that that's okay. Just, you know, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Just squeeze it back together and it will be fine. Okay, it's okay. It'll still eat, just not pretty. Just cut off the oopsies. Squeeze it back into a round shape. Maybe squeezing, okay. Maybe instead of rolling it as an entire log, roll it in sections. I think that will serve us better. 
Let's see. Try to make them as even as you can just for baking purposes. And these are gonna bake at 350 until they're done. I don't know, probably 10 minutes. There's the end piece. 